Well, uh oh, I just touched my eye. What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of my pepper review taste test thing. Finally have some more ripe pots. It's gonna be quite a big jump from what I did last time, the ahi lemon. The only reason I'm jumping up quite this high is the second plan I have. It's the only ripe pods I have right now other than the ahi lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. What we have today is a Caribbean red habanero. This is the first plant that I grew from seed, probably the first pepper that I grew from seed. I started it last year in the middle of the summer. I found these random seeds at a nursery over by my house. Picked them up, started it in the windowsill, and it didn't really take off. It just kind of stayed a seedling for months on end until I got my little grow tent that I made. This is going to be quite a bit for me. My tolerance isn't very high at all. The taste is supposed to be citrusy and smoky. I guess we'll see about that. People use it in soup, sauce, chili, different things like that. Normally, these get a little bit bigger than what this is. This is the biggest one I had on that plant. It's in a little small crack D system. So a lot of them they're just gonna stay pretty small. Let's go ahead and cut into this. Let's cut into it, see what we're looking at here. All right, got a few seeds in there. Pretty big placenta. It honestly doesn't smell too hot. I know I'm just kidding myself though. So yeah, it's got some pretty thick walls, a lot of crunch to it. Actually a pretty decent amount of seeds. Last year I grew an orange habanero and it didn't have nearly as many as this. It To me it smells like a normal habanero. It doesn't smell any different than my orange ones did last year. Well, let's find out. Let's take a quick look at the plant and then we'll come back and I'll give this a taste. Okay, here's my Caribbean red habanero. This is a plant that you guys have seen quite a few times. This will probably be one of the last times that you see it like this once i get a harvest off of it i'm going to turn this into a bonsai but i've finally got some ripe peppers i'm going to go ahead and give one a taste they're pr uh, they're not full-size peppers i've got a lot of little mini ones floating around in here i'll try to find the biggest one i can look at that little stinger I'll try to find the biggest one i can to eat this is a pretty healthy plant kept it real small here yeah check this one out right here A little mini, little mini pepper. Extremely bushy. I just love this thing. But let's go ahead and take a test. It's funny, when I first smelt this, I wasn't nervous at all about it. And now that I'm sitting here with it in front of me, I'm a little bit nervous. But like I said, it smells exactly like my orange habanero did. So I guess we'll find out. You guys ready? I'm not. Let's do it. Okay, swallowed. I'm gonna start some time here. Try to go five minutes with it in before I drink anything. So, the smoky flavor is there and it does not taste like my orange habanero. My, I didn't care for the orange habanero. I like it in sauces and stuff, but this one, smoky. It wasn't citrusy to me. It was smoky and the heat didn't come straight on. It was after I swallowed it. <laughs> so now it's starting to build. Starting to build a little bit. And uh, it's in the back of my throat, back of my tongue. But I will say 
that it's not as bad as I thought. It's pretty bad. They're not as bad as I thought. Flavor. As far as flavor goes, I honestly like that flavor more than I liked the ahi lemon. Can't even think right now. I liked it more than I liked the ahi lemon. As far as flavor wise, much, much hotter. Gonna start sweating here in a minute. It's just a back of the throat burn. I feel like I got the hiccups coming on. It just feels like, like coals on the back of my throat. But, <coughs> but <coughs> five minutes is gonna be a long time. I'm gonna try, normally, I suck at talking to a camera. So normally I put a lot of, I cut out a lot of the, the junk. But anytime I do anything that's even kinda hot, I'm gonna try to keep it constant even if I sound stupid. <clears throat> that way you guys know I'm not cutting out scenes of me getting a drink or something. Whew. Wow. Like I said, <clears throat> this is hot, but I expected it to be worse. I thought I'd be dying right about now. Didn't think I'd be able to talk. My tolerance is very low. It was just like a creeping heat when I was eating it. It wasn't hot. And then after I swallowed it, it made me cough a little bit. And then it was just this slowly, slowly building heat. It wasn't just fast. It was really slow. But honestly, I liked that because I was able to taste the pepper <clears throat> and the smokiness and just had a lot of a lot of really good flavor to it that would be one I put in chili that'd be a chili one so I have the choco challenge on its way my brother-in-law soon to be brother-in-law <coughs> he got it because he wants to see me do it. That shipped out today, and I'm gonna have to do that one. It's gonna be much worse than this. Whew. We're almost at five minutes. So yeah, be ready for that video. I'm gonna go get a drink. Go ahead and call this video quits. I'm gonna drink water, which I know is a bad idea. Okay, we're at five minutes. Thank you. I'm gonna go get something to drink. All right, so if I'm being totally honest, that was not a very hot pepper up until like the last 10 seconds of that five minutes. <laughs> I got to that 10 seconds and it wasn't my mouth, but like just my stomach just, uh, right? Well, uh oh, I just touched my eye. Okay, we're good. I didn't all the way touch my eye. The last 10 seconds or so of that, it was my stomach just cramping up. And how I said I was gonna run and go get a drink, this is what I actually did. Here's my water. See how full it still is? <laughs> so I jumped up, ran over into the bathroom, and it, I sat in front of the toilet for a good five minutes because I thought I was gonna just throw it up. I didn't throw up, I'm a man. Didn't throw it up sat there and then I laid on my nice cold bathroom floor for like another five minutes and here I am so this is a total of like 15 minutes after 
I shut the video off. As far as flavor goes, that pepper was awesome. And then just what it did to my stomach for a good five or 10 minutes there, that sucked. I need to get my tolerance up if I'm gonna be eating some of these other peppers. Now I'm a little bit more worried about these other peppers and uh, the Chaco challenge, but it's something I'm excited to do and I'm gonna keep doing it. Figured I had to come back on here and not act like that pepper was just nothing because that was pretty serious. Not the mouth heat, that, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be, but everything else, I was, you know, I, I laid down in there and just sweating and I felt like I was just gonna throw it up and it got pretty bad, but I'm good now, 15 minutes later. Anyways, as always, there's gonna be some videos popping up over here. Go ahead and click on those, watch some of those. Subscribe to the channel, like some videos. This is gonna be something that, judging by what just happened, this is gonna be rough, but I'm excited. Until next time, thank you.